gentlemen, good evening. Today, it's my honor to attend this conference, conference and give a presentation here on behalf of Flotation Therapy Association, Association of China. My topic is exploration of an application model practical experience and future vision of floating therapy for children. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Hong Mei Duan. I'm a pediatrician and now I'm a nursing school teacher of Beijing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine. These pictures are our campus. The left is our old campus. The right one is new campus. Let's begin with a short moving of our project children's flotation.
Okay, the video just showed part of our project. Let me talk about it more specifically. My talk will cover the following aspects, project description, project implementation, research findings, and key studies, also uh, as future re vision. Uh, begin with to begin with project description. The process starts with a detailed interview of the parents, many were mothers and the child to determine the child's history, education, and their social and family situation. We then had each child experience four floating sessions. It was our thinking that flotation could help improve a child's behavior and force. After each session, we asked the parents and the child about their experience. Children were also examined for improve, improvement in attention span and the ability to concentrate. In our study, we used the semi-structured semi open interview the skills to collect the data. Firstly, we collect a variety of in information through in deep interviews with the child's mother and from the perspec perspective of the child. Understanding the adverse factors encountered in the child's development process from before birth from the ages of zero to six up until the present, as well as their current performance in school and their family interactions. Based on the information above, we conducted a comprehensive assessment of the individual child 
and the relationship between family members. We adopted the flotation rest therapy for children combined with a family treatment program interview in order to carry out a comprehensive family-centered treatment program and do some ex to some extent to solve behavioral problems of the child and their family. The aim of the interview for mothers is mainly to make family relationship more harmonious and more conducive to their child's development. The project highlights the problems that ADHD children need to solve, as well as what factors in the family are harmful to a child's development. However, for special children, we are only on the way. Let's talk about the project implementation. We used the framework of appraisal, plan, implementation, and evaluation. For appraisal, we conducted one to two hour in deep interviews with children and their mothers using online tenseed meeting. Then we held an in deep discussion about the interview results. According to the preliminary interview transcription, the profile topics of each case were summarized to include the comprehensive development from early childhood, such pregnancy, early education of the child, early caregivers of child, etc. The family in the family situation, including the relationship of the parents and the family atmosphere. Parenting values influenced by the home atmosphere and the historic culture of their original family, and especially the father's participation in child, in child rearing and the education of the child, the school education and the experiences of the child, the child's current overall situation and any exacting behavior, behavioral learning and attention programs. All of these topics were summarized from the case interviews. All of these topics were summarized from the case interviews beforehand. For example, the level of early childhood development sets the tone and lays the foundation for the future development of the child. However, it is not passive or concrete. As a child grows up, the family environment and school education have a continuous impact on their development. In particular, the parents' techniques for raising the child is closely re related to the current situation of child. And many of the child's problem, problems are directly or indirectly influenced by an improper parenting philosophy and or a bad family atmosphere. However, parents' improper child rearing may be influenced by their own families of origin, which reveals the phenomenon of intergenerational transmission of native families. Using this evaluation techniques, each case can be summarized and analyzed in depth, which can not only provide a comprehensive evaluation, but also becomes a basis for developing a personalized plan for a family-centered treatment program. For plan, we do as following. This process focused on what is the main problem that a child needs to resolve. According to the assessment results and combined with the case information collected during the interview, 
a diagnosis and made about any problems the child has. Then a personalized treatment plan is made and a personalized assessment tool is chosen. By the way, the tools are selected according to the child's problems and the floating e effects hoped to be achieved. The interview technique is personalized. A different set of interview skills may be needed for each participant. A personalized float floating therapy method is designed. For example, sometimes children may be inferred or special children may need to be accompanied by their parents. For implementation, a comprehensive family-centered therapy in combination with the floating therapy programs we conducted. On the child was con we conducted, on the one hand, a, co a comprehensive analysis of the situation of the parents and the child was conducted. Then the research team thoroughly discussed the keys in order to identify any problems of the child and any factors in the family that are detrimental to that child's development. On the other hand, according to the specific situation of the family, several treatment programs interviews were conducted for the problems of the child and their parents. Topics for family therapy often include how to encourage children how to enhance a child's attention and learning efficiency, how to increase the involvement of fathers to educate and care for children, how to improve the degree of marital harmony, and uh, extra. These kinds of comprehensive treatment programs, which concentrate on the family can significantly reduce the negative influence of family factors on a child's development. The reduction of family issues improves the chances for therapeutic improvement of floating therapy for issues that are internal to the child. To this end, we developed a personalized four times or more floating program program for each child. This process includes how to guide the child and how to adjust each child's adherence to the floating plan, floating plan according to the child's own reaction to the floating environment. Relatively healthy children directly start the first floating experience and are gradually guided on how to enjoy the floating program and how to achieve the goals of facilitating his learning or her learning. Just like uh, on the movie, we can see like Nini, uh, she made a paper cut and she is very, she have a very good uh, floating experiences and willing to share her story. The first time float for special children is mainly about adapting the child to the floating environment. Maybe need more time to adapting, adapting. And the second to the first time or more time is about providing a treatment program to address specific issues such as attention improvement and other problems. Let's move on the for evaluation. The data collected include the contents of the interview before floating, the skills results after each floating session, or sometimes before uh, before floating, we also use the skill and uh, control before and after floating the results. And the subjects description of each floating experience. All data were extracted and summarized into a table. 
quantitative and qualitative data were used to evaluate the effects of the floating experience from several different angles. Here are our research findings. Firstly, children living in families with marital disharmonia, especially children who were exposed to parent conflict, conflict during infancy or whose mothers had emotional problems during pregnancy were more likely to develop developmental disorder during their school age years, uh, such as depression uh, and game addiction. That consistent with references. Another research finding is family factors, just like parental conflict, father's short temper, and the school factors, such as bullying, teachers' unfair treatment, may contribute to depre depression in school-age children. Let's talk about the children's floating experiences in experiences just like our uh, video. Include the first children with anxiety, depression or stress or older children or some healthy children tend to actively enjoy the floating experience from the very beginning, just the nini. Children with ADHD, ADHD means attention deficient, can pass, passively enjoy floating with some reward stimulation, just gift, and gradually drift into a state of actively enjoying the experience after several floats. The third point is different from adults. Children still like to be accompanied even after entering the deep, deep floating state, such as having their mother sit beside them and tell stories. This indicates that children are not psychologically independent. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Adults do not like to be disturbed after entering the deep floating state. Next point, intermittently, children often take the initiate to swim around in the floating capsule. Also, children who were Googles are more inclined to swim like due to prior experiences in the swimming pool. The next point, the challenge to get special children such as ADHD or autistic children to lay in the floating fluid for the first time is relatively difficult. difficult. This may be due to their low sensory integration integration ability and their excessive vestibular defense. Special children may require a grandeur floating strategy. It is not necessary to float successfully the first time. So the experiences may be become adaptive some measures might be taken, such as the floating process can be guided by parents or infants and the children can float together with their parents. As in the interval between floats should not be too long, such as a week. In the cases of special children, a parent's participation in floating guidance is more conductive to successful therapeutic floating experience, just as our moving show. Let's have a look at the case study. From the several subjects we tested, 
we have selected a representative child as a case study thinks she had a very good floating experiences and her parents and she willing to share her story. Basic information of Nini, a nine, uh, a nine uh, girl. Her family member is father, mother, Nini, and her younger brother. Let's talk about Nini's comprehensive early childhood development. Aspects of her pregnancy were normal for Nini's mother. She almost had no adverse symptom during her early pregnancy. She felt no psychological pressure and had a very good life. With rest and peace of mind, she paid special attention to her diet. During her pregnancy, every day she would read books about parenting and books about Chinese traditional culture. Her heart and soul were fully prepared for her new life as a mother. She thought that her husband would play a good role as an expecting father, although it turned out that his performance was not so good. She thinks this is normal, though, and that he was done very well for a man. She felt a little disappointed when the baby was born because of its gender, you know. Traditional Chinese culture has a preference for sons over daughters. Also, the baby was not as pretty as she expected, but she adjusted quickly. So the mother baby bond is strong and the new mom has great identity. As the child grew, the mother was more and more satisfied and often felt surprised by her daughter's performance and new skills. She and her daughter did not attend, attend early child education cases, but the mom did some of the education on her own. Let's move on characteristics of Nini's current situation. She has a strong family consciousness in her heart. She feels that all family members care for each other. She is clever, sensible, and have strong self-discipline, strong adapt and adaptability, strong independence. She has a strong mind and peace of mind. She also has strong logical thinking, does things with first special intention, often has new ideas. Although she is a relative uh, quiet girl and she does not learn things too quickly, but she is very practical and has strong endurance. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, she is also uh, on our video. Uh, she made a handcraft a paper cup. Do you know? She knew well of what she was going to do with her life and what she was not going to do. She has a sense of responsibility and tries to be a good role, a good role model to guide her young brother. Okay, let's view her family dynamic. The mother felt that being with her children was a fresh start in her life. Mother has a strong ability to resist pressure. She has a strong personality. The mother is democrat, democrat, democratic and will discuss decisions with the child, with the children. However, when the children make serious mistakes, she will punish her quickly and severely. The mother has strong emotional control. She also has peace of mind, 
really angry, and even when she's punishing the children, is thinking rationally. The mother sees many good qualities in in her children, and in general gives them a positive evaluation. Uh, like gives Nini encouragement at praise. The mother knows a lot about education and let her children explore on their own. As the children grew up, she became more and more relaxed and satisfied with her children. The mother does not have rigid requirements for her children's school grades. Also, her attitude toward children development is basically let natural takes its course. The mother believes that a children's, uh, that a children's education should be based on their gender rules. For example, traditional Chinese culture believes in cultivating patience and virtue in girls. Let's talk about her mother's native families. Her native family is a very type, typical, typical traditional extended family. She grew up with the love of grand, grandparents, uncles and aunts and other people. When she was a child, her parents expressed loud differences due to personality conflicts, but this have had a few negative effects on her, on her since she had a sufficient sense of happiness and security from the care and the love of other and adults. Nini's mother thinks that the quarrels between parents of the original family is just a normal pattern of living in the family. And this has impact her views about setting up her own small family and involved into the partners she uses to get along with her husband. Let's summarize the key points of the keys. Nutrition, rest, mood, and the state of the relationship during pregnancy were all perfect. The mother was well prepared physically, mentally, and intellectual to welcome the new life. She had reasonable expectations. After the birth of a child, the mother enjoyed being with her, ch with her children and, know, and knew well the important role she plays in the development of her children. Therefore, she felt in her heart the shining points in her children and offered praise and encouragement. She gives Nini's enough space to explore and de develop develop independently. She will also guide the growth of children with rational education. She believes that one should not only focus on the cultivation of children's learning ability, but also cultivate their gender roles inside of their family structure. The sense of happiness and security that a mother felt when she was younger also makes her very strong inside and she never passes negative emotion on her children. In this kind of family, children grow up with independence, a sense of uh, responsibility, adaptability, learning ability, a family consciousness, and other aspects of comprehensive development. We structure data like this and for first research. Finally, I would like to talk about the future vision of children's flotation. Firstly, report on the process of evaluating the floating experience for a large population of subjects. Follow up on the longer term impacts of floating on the behavior issues ability to learn and attention span of children. 
see if there are some aspects of, flo of floating which are more beneficial to the children. Beginning implementation, the child development, development assessment and treatment program, which uses the bene benefits of floating therapy to elevate children's behavior, attention, and, and the learning issues and promote no normal health development. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for this presentation, we thank to Jim Scott in the Anna University for editing help. Also, it has been my pleasure to give you my viewpoints on this presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.